Hi Stampers! Welcome to Watch It Weekly Wednesday. I'm going to show you a new technique, or it's been around, but it's with some new paper called Be Dazzled, and it's in the Celebration catalog, which goes through the end of September, or as supplies last. Some of these things will be very popular, and I think this one will be very popular. There's eight sheets of six by six. This is what it looks like. It's amazing. Of course, I love bling. So I already cut this out with the die from this bundle. And the bundle I've used is called the Beauty of Tomorrow Bundle. It's 5025 and you get eight dies, but this one big die is beautiful. It cuts out the leaves. And you can do it with regular. But I'm going to do it with the glitter because I want to show you how to custom color the glitter with your water painters. So I'm going to go ahead and this is a water painter. You get three in the case. And it I just, there's water right in here. And what I'm going to do is I went ahead and pushed my stamp pads down. Or you can use your elbow if you're not strong enough. And I'm going to open them up like this. The Crushed Curry Merlin, uh, Mary Merlot and the Old Olive. So I'm going to start with the lightest color first. And I just get a little bit of water there. And I'm just going to color. And you just, it's okay to get a lot of water on there because you want it to go into the paper. It can go on the back side. It's not going to hurt anything. So, and so you're going to go ahead and color just randomly your leaves. It's okay, you don't have to stay in the lines because you can have the silver coming out of it too. Okay, then I'm going to change another color and you'll just want to go ahead and go back and forth. That's how you get the color off on a white piece of paper. And I'll get some more water and put it in the green. And the same thing, just all over the paper and if you want it darker you can even take a reinker and in your stamp pad and just put a little blob down on your pad and just go ahead and do it that way too so it just depends on what look you want and want to get so let's see I think I want a couple more green ones And if you want it darker, you can go like this too. You can go right in the pad and pick up some extra color to get it darker on your leaves too. Okay, then I'm going to get the green off of there. Sometimes it helps to just get it. Okay, so that's pretty good. Now I'm going to take the Mary Merlot, get some more water in there. And go ahead and squeeze it in there and then just fill out the ones I haven't colored with the Mary Merlot and you can even do double colors you know where you have some green and some Mary Merlot on there too like it's changing colors so it really does not matter it looks good the messier it is too okay so you let that dry but in the meantime if you looked at it on the back, it will you can see how some of the colors bled into the white, and that's okay. So it will dry, and you could clean that by going back and forth again. And I'm going to show you how I did the card. Just take the Mary Merlot, and I'm just going to take the stamp set that coordinates with the dies, and just do a background randomly in this color such a beautiful color so rich and pretty and stamp your envelope with the color too that's what I've done so it's all ready to go so that's just the background this is actually gonna go right on the card like so I will stamp the saying on it in the Mary Merlot too they've got some beautiful sayings in this stamp set 
the changing of leaves remind us that the new wonders are just around the corner. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. And what I did was I tore all the way around it to give it an edge. So when you look at it, it looks like this. So you just tear it. It doesn't have to be perfect. But look how gorgeous that dazzle paper is and how it takes on the color. And you don't have to do much more in it. I just did a little knot of ribbon. And here's another one that I did. And just with the companion stamp set that goes in that suite. And I went ahead and did the solid leaves in different colors. I love this technique where you can custom color your glitter or your dazzle paper. And if you want to get some of this, don't wait. Make sure you order it ASAP so that there's plenty of that glitter paper or dazzle paper on the celebration brochure. Hope you've enjoyed this new technique. And if you'd like to purchase from us, just email us at stampinjill.com. Talk to you later. Bye.